coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Tornado strikes Florida's Broward County, tosses aircraft. U.S. National Aerobatic Championships return to Salina. EAA Chapter 534 postpones fly-in drive-in. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Tornado strikes Florida's Broward County, tosses aircraft. The notion of a hurricane season is facile. It sounds plausible, but in a formal sense, simply isn't true. Hurricanes are most common between June and November, with August through October being peak months for tropical cyclone events. But in point of fact, hurricanes can form at any time of year. That said, Hurricane Ian looks to be something of a traditionalist. At approximately 21.30 EDT on the night of September 27, 2022, as the southeastern U.S. braced for Hurricane Ian's landfall, a separate storm believed to have been a tornado struck the city of Pembroke Pines in southeastern Florida's Broward County. Damage caused by the storm, though widespread, was particularly heavy at North Perry Airport, where some 15 aircraft were overturned and otherwise battered about, and a number of hangars were damaged. The National Weather Service will presently survey the Pembroke Pines area storm damage for purpose of determining whether the causative phenomenon was indeed a tornado or an alternate atmospheric event such as a microburst or a highly localized storm cell. And after the break, around the world again for 86-year-old pilot. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot usa.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Around the world again for 86-year-old pilot. Retired dentist Ed Galkin, age 86, is on his fourth flight around the world starting last weekend out of the Central Jersey Regional Airport in the United States, approximately two miles southwest of the Newark-class Bravo airspace. Mr. Galkin previously completed similar trips in 1988, 2004, and 2018 when he circumnavigated the globe with three different co-pilots. As before, he will be flying his 1975 Cessna 210L Centurion, November 2160 Sierra, accompanied by Zvi Mosri, age 64, and with the mission to raise awareness and donations for Alzheimer's. French Navy puts new Airbus H160 to work as SAR Hilo. The French Navy took delivery of the first Airbus H-160 helicopter this month, fulfilling the first of six aircraft purchased for their search and rescue mission. The aircraft is part of an interim fleet delivered by a partnership formed by Airbus helicopters, Babcock, and Saffron helicopter engines. It's a landmark delivery as the first delivery of an H-160 to a military customer, the last pair being sold off to civilian customers around the world. Recovery of lost DHC-3 Otter underway. The NTSB, Navy, and personnel from Washington State's Island County have undertaken the recovery of November 725 Tango Hotel, the 1967 de Havilland DHC-3 Otter that went down in western Washington's Puget Sound on September 4th. Two barges arrived off the southwestern shore of Woodby Island on September 26th and took up station in proximity to the crash site. 
One barge is outfitted with a crane, by dint of which the salvage team will endeavor to lift the aircraft's wreckage from approximately 190 feet of water. The second barge carries and facilitates operation of a U.S. Navy work-class remotely piloted vehicle. Lengthy complaint. Delta pilots claim 1,000-day contract delay. Tick tock, 1,000 days worth. That's the substance of a complaint made as Delta airline pilots reached a milestone in their contract negotiations with Delta Airlines. 1,000 days since their contract became amendable on December 31, 2019. The pilots are working under a contract that went into effect in 2016. Negotiations under the auspices of the National Mediation Board resumed in January 2022. Since then, thousands of Delta pilots have participated in informational picketing at airports across the country. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. U.S. National Aerobatic Championships return to Salina. The U.S. National Aerobatic Championships will return to Salina, Kansas in October 2022. The 2022 U.S. National Aerobatic Championships will see pilots of both powered aircraft and gliders compete in five categories – primary, sportsman, intermediate, advanced, and unlimited. Pilots in each category will be required to fly three routines – known, in which all competitors fly a pre-published set of maneuvers, unknown, in which the sequences of aerobatic figures are presented to the pilot 12 hours prior to performance, and free program, in which pilots create their own routine based on maneuvers permitted in their respective categories. The National Aerobatic Championships attract America's premier aerobatic pilots and aerial display stewards. Each flight is thoroughly planned to ensure the highest levels of safety while testing the abilities of both pilot and aircraft. Flights are judged on precision, adherence to program, and excellence. Top finishers in the advanced category will earn berths on the U.S. Advanced Aerobatic Team, which will compete in the 2023 World Aerobatic Championships to be held in Las Vegas in 2023. A separate four-minute freestyle championship will be held on Friday, October 7th. The event will be open only to the top 10 unlimited and advanced category competitors. And after these messages, EAA Chapter 534 postpones fly-in, drive-in. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. EAA Chapter 534 postpones fly-in drive-in. ANN expects to have to offer up more than a few announcements like this one as the state of Florida dries out and shakes out after the indignities of Hurricane Ian. As a result of the aforementioned Mother Nature temper tantrum, the Experimental Aircraft Association Chapter 534 at the Leesburg International Airport has had to postpone their fly-in drive-in scheduled for this upcoming Saturday, October 1st. The new date for the event will be Saturday, October 29th, and they will hope for a much better weather situation. It will be held at their hangar located on the airport grounds. There will be plenty of parking for aircraft at the Sun Air ramp and for motor vehicles on the grass area across from the EAA hangar. The menu will remain the same, blueberry pancakes, sausage, juice, and coffee. The time will be the same also, 9 to 11.30 a.m. The gang at EAA Chapter 534 hopes everybody will be over the Ian Jitters by then and will be looking to have a fun time visiting EAA Chapter 534, meeting other pilots, aviation enthusiasts, looking at the chapter's aircraft building projects, and swapping aviation stories. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.